Okay, so I'm replacing the CO2 in the soda stream can cylinder. Here are the tools that I have. A 15 16 inch wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, so here is the vent valve. And this is what we're going to use the 10 millimeter wrench on. So the first step is to vent the cylinder. Just open it up a few times and let it vent out. Okay, so once it's vented, you'll hear all the pressure go away. You can tighten back up the, the vent valve. You don't have to over torque any of this. The next step is take your 15 16 inch wrench, connect it here, and simply take the top off. Because it's vented, if it weren't vented, this would blow off. Take that off. Now we're ready to fill it with CO2. Okay, so now we have the top off. We put the funnel in. This is just a cheap funnel that I bought at Walmart. Kind of screw it down a little bit so that it's on there safe. And now we'll go get the CO2. Because CO2 evaporates, you want to get the CO2 um, as kind of the last step. Okay, we're back with the dry ice, and here are the tools we have. We have the chopstick, the gloves, the dry ice, and also the hammer. It's kind of handy if you have this big flat hammer. We have a chunk of ice, dry ice, that Steve bought from a cute girl at the grocery store. Oh, oh. Okay, so here we are putting more in, but we filled this a little too full, so now we have to get a spatula and do that. Okay, so it took us about three chunks of mushing up to get this filled up. And then we take the funnel off. And this is super cold. You can see the frost on it. Yeah, it's and then we super put cold, the... so keep your gloves on. And we're putting the thing back in. You can hear it pressurizing. Yeah. Okay, now we're taking the big wrench, and Steve is torquing it a bit, just to tighten, to, yeah. okay. And then we set it outside. That's it. Why are we